So greetings and welcome to your July 2024 behind the scenes glimpse video. Um, welcome to your little Patreon perk. Um, so it is a very hot and sunny afternoon now all of a sudden here at the end of July and looking back on what has been a very busy month one way and another. Uh, but we start as we always do with videos from our cast of Macbeth. Um, our second online Macbeth, um, great fun, very popular, um, has had more people on the YouTube link go back and watch again than I think, uh, according to some of the company, or like pretty much anything else we've ever done. So, wow, that's really great. Um, I'm interested to know why. So if anybody did that, could you just drop us a message and let me know why? Because I'm just curious. So anyway, here is the company of Macbeth to talk about that. Hello, I'm getting ready to hop on a Zoom in a minute with Tim to run the Macbeth Lady Macbeth Daggers business. Um, and I thought I would hop in and just share a little of my setup because I've overhauled it. So. <laughs> Um, let me see if I can turn this around. I guess I'll do it this way. Uh, so I've got my backdrop here. I don't know if that's clear. Um, and then a light back there that I'll turn on when we actually are nearer the time. And the standing desk with all my props at the ready. Got a couple daggers over there and various other things. Um, I've also found a big piece of this particular prep process was about understanding what to wear for this character because I, I feel like sometimes I go very modern for male characters and very like old school suggesting like historical for female characters and it felt important for this one not to do that but she is like a modern person. Um, but I, th I thought very, like, I didn't want her to be spooky because I don't think that's really what she's about. She's not a haunted house villain. She's a complicated human being. Um, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to go, like, dramatic look. I wanted her to look very old money, succession chic. <laughs> Um, because I feel like that's her armor, and it's very understated, and it's very elegant, and she looks like the innocent flower. It's very, uh, in some ways nondescript, but just also very, um, uh, expensive, because <laughs> this is how she moves through the world. Hello, um, we've just finished the performance of Macbeth uh, this afternoon. I've just popped out into the garden to get some fresh air and and to some, yeah, just let you know what I've been thinking about it. Um, and it was it was great fun, uh, great exercise, great practice. Um, never played Ross before. Interesting character because uh, he has a real journey through the play. I think. I mean, personally, I don't know what you make of the character but I feel he's got a real he starts off with a kind of a cocky kind of happy sort of demeanor and then he kind of goes through the mill a bit telling Macduff about the murder of the uh, wife and children and then you know the the the, the battle with Macbeth um, yeah it's an interesting journey anyway uh, I'm really quite tired after that so I, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah Hello, <laughs> Eric here. Um, after all that, getting murdered twice, um, parts of me hurt that shouldn't probably be hurting. Um, so I can't imagine how Tim and the others feel because they, they were on stage longer and they did such a good job. It was just, wow. I mean, well done. <laughs> well done, guys. That was a really excellent Macbeth. I shall go and watch it again right away because... Um, I just didn't have my full attention on the amazing work from the others. Um, and I like playing the porter. 
and the apparition. <laughs> Playing with the lighting effects was really fun. I was always dark in my world, except when I became seaward, I, I thought he be better be in the open air a bit. Um, really good, good time. Thanks very much to everyone. Bye. So Macbeth, a great favourite with everybody, including us. Um, very different from our first one, which is always interesting to reflect on. Same play, why do it again? Different people, completely different. Um, so that was good fun. Um, we've also popped some scenes up online. I'm recording this Sunday afternoon, so your scenes are up there for you. Uh, we should hopefully be doing another set of scenes in a couple more weeks instead of another play online, because as explained, after Macbeth, um, because of our in-person commitment this month at Shakespeare North Playhouse, well, this month, August, um, it's just too complicated to do another play as well, uh, for which I do apologise. Um, I don't like to disappoint either watchers or players, but it just had to be. So what we'll do is uh, there will hopefully be some more scenes for you in a couple of weeks. and. If we can engineer it, we should hopefully be able to at least record something of what we do at Shakespeare North and put it up. Not quite sure if we can live stream. We've been looking into it, but I think it just might be that one touch too complicated. So sorry about that if we don't manage it. Um, what else has been going on? Well, we had our crowdfunder, which finished uh, about a week or so ago. Um, and I think I'm just about getting over the trauma now. Um, but uh, very grateful for all the exercise and incredibly grateful for all the donations. Um, we made, uh, we cleared 2,500 on the crowdfunder, which meant we received uh, 2,300 and something because the platform takes uh, 5%, um, which is always slightly annoying, but hey, that's life. Um, and yes, so that was a lot of fun. I have posted today onto our socials a link to a compilation video of all the challenge videos because they were funny and they were fun and uh, a lot of silliness and creativity went into them. So I hope that you enjoy seeing that over again. Um, yeah, otherwise at the moment, it's basically all about Shakespeare North. Um, we, are, uh, we are basically funded now, which is brilliant. And again, enormous thanks. Um, we have hired a, a second car because Valentina has a car. We've hired a second one. Um, Ellie will be coming down by train from Scotland to join us in Liverpool. Um, so two car loads we've got from here. We have a house rented through Airbnb in Liverpool. So we'll be commuting from Liverpool to Prescott. Why aren't we staying in Prescott? Because there wasn't anywhere. Um, <laughs> Airbnb, that sort of Airbnb hasn't come to Prescott. So. Um, and yeah, we're having final text and costume conversations at the moment. Um, and it's all going, yeah, it's, it's all uh, going, it's all coming together, which is fantastic. Um, uh, I have a, uh, one of my final research workshops for my doctorate is coming up next weekend, the first weekend in, in August. And that is going to be using the first half of the uh, um, Anthony and Cleopatra edit. So that will be very fascinating to see how that comes out and to make sure that it's all there because that's always the scary part if you're the book holder. No matter how hard I try, it always seems to be some lines or something, something gets by. Human error, human error is inescapable. I'm sure they had it as badly as we did. Um, yeah, so that's where we are this month. Um, it's all looking forwards. Um, like I say, there won't be a play in um, in August, but I will do a, a recap video and we will be starting again. I think it's the third weekend in September is what I've got planned. And we're doing what the car company are calling a little Henry ad. Um, we're doing the famous victories of Henry V, followed by Henry IV part one, Henry V, and then finishing in December with Sir John Oldcastle by Anthony Monday. So um, yeah, it's going to be a fun autumn and winter. As ever, if you've any thoughts, let me know. Always interested to get feedback, otherwise I'm just guessing. Um, and thank you for everything. 
wishing you all very happy, enjoyable summers. And yes, I will be speaking to you probably quite briefly in August. So until then, see you soon.